If someone asks me what hospital you want to go to, my initial response would be West Jeff. We'll put this in his mouth so he kind of gets <laughs> faked out. Looking back on the whole experience with West Jeff, it's been like an all-in kind of thing. They give you lots of information to work with, to do your research. I felt they also took their time. It wasn't rushed. Our first appointment, we also saw the midwife. Mary Alice. Mary Alice, mm -hmm. and then she handed us the brochure with all the, all the classes that West Jeff is mm -hmm. offering. The fact that they even put something together to help new mothers and fathers. The only class we had to pay for was the mosque. Yes. I've walked that hall for sure. Oh, that's, they're there, that's, that's when you walk into labor delivery there. That's where we checked there. in, but also where we saw the high-risk doctor. So we arrived for check-in, and uh, you know, it's like, give us our stuff, go upstairs. It was very warm. <laughs> I remember we had to wear the masks, go through the little security mm -hmm. uh, check-in, with my pillow under my arm. And we get upstairs, and sure enough, there's a room ready. Oh, we're glad that you're here on time, yada, yada, yada. Let's get you set up. Here's the room you're gonna be in. I was pleasantly surprised. There's not a lot in the room, but you don't need a lot in the room when you're laboring and delivering. You yeah. need room to move. You need room to, if you want to walk around, you want to lay on a ball, you want to go in there, have tubs in them. If you wanted to go lay in the tub. However you want to labor, if you mm -hmm. want to, be on all fours, if you want to be on your back, on your side, anything goes, mm -hmm. as long as it's safe for the baby. And it seemed like here are all these options you can choose from, you can, whatever feels comfortable is what they will help you with. This is the, this is the first we... room we spent as a family. That actually looks like the room we were in. Yeah. Postpartum. Yeah. The same couch. We can talk back about our little one bedroom studio. <laughs> <laughs> or not even a one bedroom, it's a, it's a studio flat. We didn't need to bring like the little birthing ball. Uh, we didn't have to bring a boppy. We didn't have to deal, do worry about diapers. No baby supplies. None of that stuff. Everything yeah. was all supplied. I was surprised how much like we left the hospital with baby supplies. Yes, they let us leave yeah. with whatever was yes. in his little cart. For, for They're week. like, here's his it stuff. Has, yeah. That's probably the Nick here. And they were there to support whatever it is that we needed. We really liked the fact that they offer nursery services. Anytime she was feeding and having trouble, they were right there to try and help her, help her position the baby, all that kind of stuff. And then all the tricks they knew they would do, and then it was like, well, we'll, we'll make sure that the lactation nurse comes and sees you. Yeah. She helps me with different positions, and all of them work beautifully. Oh, yeah. I think it's this woman has got the magical touch. They talk about the football, football holes and, and the cradle. The cradle and the half cradle and the open cradle and the closed <laughs> cradle. And... Yeah. After, I was still successfully feeding him. Mm -hmm. So it, it felt really good and, and I felt confident. We were provided with a list of people that uh, the hospital believed in, right? Helps you narrow it down. Definitely impressed, I felt spoiled and mm -hmm. well taken care of. It worked out. Even, yeah. <laughs> we still like each other. We still like each other. It's a good facility. Mm -hmm. They do a really good job.